going to Kell Auto Air to pick up the 79 Lincoln Town Car, and we're gonna do a deal on a Ranger that's got a dually swap. But he won't sell it to me, so I brought a disguise today, and we'll see how this goes. I brought a stack of cash. He's been trying to sell it forever. Jeffrey! Jeff! Man. Where is he? Well, it depends. We have to talk, figure out how much we're going to do here. How much is this? <laughs> I brought three people because we're taking this thing today. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today I'm going to show you another 1966 Ford Mustang. It's powered by a 289. It was born with a V8. Has vintage air and a whole bunch of cool accessories. We're going to go over this whole entire car, but before we do that, I want you to take a look at this t-shirt. So we've got our My Dream Girl on right now. We have four different styles that we have on our website, so you're going to click below. You're going to be able to go to the merchandise section. You have candles, we have air fresheners, we have stickers, we've got great apparel. Be sure to like and subscribe too so we can give you more great content like this. Overall condition of this Mustang, I'd rate a 6 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Shows very well, easy to drive, it's definitely turnkey. We bought this from the second owner out of California and it was in California its whole life. Chrome does have some pitting, but when you start to look at it, it shows so well. It has beautiful pinstriping on both sides and around the fenders. Underneath the hood is extremely detailed. You've got a 289 here, you've got a vintage air compressor, and everything is nice and clean. New starter solenoid, uh, upgraded ignition. Well, it still is on a vacuum, but it's an upgraded cap. And it's just beautifully detailed. You do have a Griffin aluminum radiator, so if you look to the side of it, you're gonna see that there's aluminum there, and that keeps it cool. You can let it idle forever. I forgot I had it on about, I'd say, two weeks ago, and it idled out front of our parking lot for two hours with no issues. The hood is extremely nice. All of the bright work looks good. I see one missing screw. Ford emblem's nice. All the lights work as they should. I love the chrome pony wheels on here with the Goodyears. You can see that beautiful blue striping. So it has a dark blue with a light blue surrounding it. And then they have a silver stripe that goes throughout. This is all hand laid. And if you look at the actual fenders, it's the same color combination. It shows very well. Roof line's nice, glass is nice. I don't see any cracks. Windshield wipers work as they should. You've got your vents here that work well. This is solid and it's rust free. So there might be surface rust underneath it, but it's not, there's no rust going through. All of the underbody is proper. When you look at the door cards, they show very well. This is original. This looks like it's been repainted and the interior is original with a custom center console. Gauges all work as they should and it starts up extremely easy. Starts up like that every time it's running right now. Steering wheel does show a little bit of age, but that is the original steering wheel. Horn works. Your glass goes up and down easily. And then you do have pinstripe Mustang right here. The color is amazing in Florida, and I'm sure it'd be amazing anywhere, but it shows so well in the light. You do have aftermarket, uh, an aftermarket stereo in here. You can see those speakers in the rear deck lid and then it does have two kick panel speakers along with a controller for you to be able to plug your phone in, which is neat. You can hear the exhaust right now. Very healthy. Gas cap is in the proper position. It's not loose. You can take it off and it looks nice. All of the chrome in the back shows the same as the front. It does have a little bit of pitting, but overall, extremely nice. I'm gonna open up the trunk right now. You see it's really nice. They did put the I think that's actually the original. They cut it off. So that's the original jacket instructions. And you do have additional parts here. So this is the uh, original radio, radiator, and a spare tire on a pony wheel. It does have a dress-up kit and an aftermarket carpet piece. And underneath here is extremely nice. All of your gaskets look good. It closes easily. Passenger side is the same as the driver's side. There are no dents or dings. There are minor imperfections, but in regards to the body panels, no indents. Passenger side door shows very well. Very nice and clean. These are original gaskets. Glass goes up easily. No cracking or discoloration. All the bright work looks good. 
Back seats look great, and we'll go over the interior when we go for that test drive to Jeff's. We're going to Kell Auto Air to pick up the 79 Lincoln Town Car, and we're gonna do a deal on a Ranger that's got a dually swap. Thanks again, let's jump in it and go for a ride. All right, we're gonna go for a ride in the 66. I'm gonna point out some imperfections in here before I get inside, because you're not gonna see this if I sit here. The piping on the side of the driver's seat is a little bit torn, and there is a small imperfection right here. Uh, rear seats are original, uh, carpet is original, and the steering wheel does have a little bit of cracking. Let's get inside and start it up. We've got Danielle back here. All right, we started it up. It's cold right now. Got a little bit of gas in it. You can see it's charging. There's your temperature. It does have an aftermarket radio with a plug-in for auxiliary, and you can even hook up an iPod. Uh, air condition does work, and it is cold. And it has a nice center console, aftermarket center console with spare keys. We're gonna head to Jeff, Jeff's shop, which is Kell Auto Air. Brakes on the Mustang are not power assist, but they're easy to use, just to push your foot down hard. So you can stop and it is stopping straight. We're going on about, a, I'd say a five mile journey right now, so you can really see how this thing performs. It's nice and smooth, shifts easy. Tires feel good going down the road. No funny shaking or uh, imbalances. We're about to go over some bumps here. It's smooth. Steering's even too, so the steering wheel is straight and we're going straight down the road. There's no play in the steering wheel, so you can turn the wheel and it's actually gonna turn. You can do that with one finger going down the road. Dash is really nice too. Headliner is original with a little bit of wear. How's the back seat? It's good? Cool. We're jumping on Marina Mile here and we'll be at Jeff's in about five minutes. Going 55 miles an hour right now with no issues. smooth over these bumps too. Good oil pressure, motor's really healthy. We're about to turn left on Andrews to get to the AC shop. I'm looking at my temperature. We just had a stop for a little bit, about four minutes waiting for a train. Temperature hasn't moved, and as I said before, it doesn't overheat. Uh, we've got a good strain on it, driving it around. In regards to the radio, it is an upgraded unit. It does have this box. We need to try it to see if that's what controls the actual uh, input of the radio. That's what I'm assuming. So we'll test it out and in the, in the description of the actual car, we'll let you know if it works. The original radio is included though. I'm gonna need my disguise. I don't want him to know it's me so I can get a good deal. Get the glasses. All right, camera off. All right, we're ready. Let's get this thing. So I'm going after this Ranger. He just fixed our town car. Let's see what we can do. I brought a stack of cash. He's been trying to sell it forever. Jeffrey! I don't think he's here. Jeff! No. I guess we just get our car. Man. Where is he? So I brought cash because we're getting this thing today. He's two minutes away, apparently ran an errand. But look at this beauty. It's got a dually conversion. I think they sold these in Keystone back then. Lund rear spoiler. And look at the interior, it's brand new. Oh, it's locked. So he started off by asking 1454 three years ago. He's at 6,500. So we're gonna try to buy this thing for a good deal. We'll see what happens. I'm not leaving without it. And I need my, I brought three people because we're taking this thing today. That's 
planning on 5,500 in your hand? I don't have, I don't have 5,500, <laughs> but I came as an incognito, so I get a better deal. Well, it depends. We have to talk, figure out how much we're going to do here. How much was this? <laughs> here you go. You can hold it for a second if you want. I don't think it does. It's not going <laughs> to... It doesn't make no difference. I know. That's why I want. That's why I want 5600. So you can get five grand for that and 600 for that car. Mm, I even wore a wig for this deal. Okay. This is a mullet. What's the blue book value? Nineteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Go look it up. Maybe nine hundred trade in. We're getting it. We did our best, and I got both keys. We had to do a trade deal. They're keeping the stainless steel box. I don't know what they're going to do with it. But Jeff has to remove a stainless steel box that they're never going to use again. You have to be gentle with this truck, OK? What do you mean by that? Don't jerk on the tail, OK? Just lift it up and pull back. Are you sad to let this thing go? Or you don't ever want to see it again? You know how rare this thing is? <laughs> Here you go. Better count it. Which one do you want to drive? You're driving this beauty. I didn't say it was I'm gonna take the Lincoln Town car. He's taking the Mustang, and we'll finish this video. Yeah, we'll finish this video when we get back. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We were picking up that dually. I've been trying to work on that for over a year, and I think the wig and cash and us pressuring him to sell it finally made it happen. But back to this specific Mustang. We're going over bumps right now. You can see the suspension feels good. Um, obviously it rode amazing while we were going over there and if you're looking for a turnkey 66 Mustang that has a real deal V8 with plenty of power, this is it. Give us a call at 954-363-2261. We're going to go ahead and get some outside shots for you so you can see it drive by and help you make a decision on if this is the right ride for you. If you have any questions in regards to financing this, go to our website and click finance and we have three different options for that. Uh, if you want to transport this, we could ship it out of the country or to California, whatever you need. Just fill out the documents under the transport tab on our site and we'll be able to help you out.